What's up, dude? So check it out. Uh, this is the progress on the new iguana cage. This is the wire mesh. Girl, Lagatha. Oh, that's a good baby. Wow, wow, right down into the water. What a mental case. All right, kid. Jeez. We got a pretty large swirl here. I just like a... Wow, look at the speed. Our animal mission is simple. Education in action, conservation in action. This is Camp Kennedy. Hey, what's going on? Uh, as you can see, by the first shot, it's uh, time to feed some carnivorous reptiles. And I'm thawing out some uh, chicks, rodents, and uh, well, we got a couple squirrels also, which are rodents. So uh, yeah, what's been happening? What's been happening? Uh, whew, you know, just the same old stuff, staying isolated, keeping six feet minimum in, uh, in between each other, except for my wife, we're gonna hang out. Um, and um, uh, uh, you know, there it is. I found my tongue, see, right here. <laughs> da, 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 da. Anyway, so um, where was I? Yes, we're gonna feed uh, some otters, but I really wanted to spend some time with our girl, uh, Lagatha, because she is uh, just an amazing animal and she's out and about right now. So I wanted to give her some food and uh, I wanted to bring you guys along with me and give you guys an update on what's going on. Uh, so here's the camp, there's Hercules, he's doing his thing. And as you can see, it's pretty dry right now. Uh, we haven't had rain in a long time, which is interesting because usually it rains a lot. What's up, dude? He's got some Missouri, I fed them some Missouri. Since it's not raining, what I did was I actually soaked the tortoise diet and um, basically that moistens it and that gives them a lot of uh, moisture for what they need. There's the neighbor's dogs. As always, they're stars of the show as well. Uh, anyway, so check it out. We, uh, this is the progress on the new iguana cage. Let me show you what's going on here. Uh, we have some screening up, as you can see. This is the knit wire. You can pretty much see right through it. It's amazing stuff. And I was hanging out with Tim from Knitwire out in the UK. He was here on holiday. And in fact, at the time I'm making this video, he may actually be stuck in the United States because they canceled some flights back to the UK. But as you can see, this is the wire mesh. And we spent uh, one, pretty much a half day putting this wire mesh up. And what's happened is uh, both he and I went, went to bed that night and uh, we were obsessing and he came over the next morning. I gingerly asked him, I'm like, hey, you know what? I think I made a mistake. I think I wanna go with a, a, higher, uh, a higher grade or a different gauge on this stuff. And he actually was thinking the same thing. So we wound up, you know, we put all this stuff up and uh, we decided we're gonna go with their higher grade wire mesh. So that's the good news is they're all into it. They're gonna help send it over. Uh, we don't want the lizards. We think it's possible that large full grown cyclora might be able to rip through this. We're, we're not sure, but we don't wanna take any chances. So we're gonna use the really good stuff. Uh, not that this isn't good stuff, but the heavier grade uh, wire mesh. Uh, so that's the good news. The bad news is because of this pandemic happening, it's probably gonna take five weeks till I get it. Uh, so that's okay because I also have some other really cool things that are going to happen to this enclosure because I was on the phone with somebody and uh, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag but that's just the update uh, on that enclosure so right now all work has stopped on this um, next week I'll probably do some inside cage decorating but um, right now it's stopped but hey how about Lagatha there she is hey girl and you know I got to talk to her because you see she is blind in that eye so I'm gonna come in through this door and I wanna be very careful because I don't wanna really startle her too badly. So the thing that I need to do is figure out, I don't wanna get a whip to the face as she's gonna be scared uh, because I'm coming in on her blind, well, right now it's her blind side, but then if she turns, she should be able to see me. So what I wanna do is check the rodents. Uh, we got a pretty large squirrel here. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go with that. It might be too big for her. But what I'm gonna do is feed her two chicks and a mouse. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Two chicks and a mouse. Uh, I'm gonna open this up. Hey girl, I'm gonna come in now, hon. I'm gonna come in, baby. I'm coming in, you don't freak out now. So I like to talk to her. Okay, I know, I know. But what I'm gonna do is we're gonna make her happy immediately by getting a, uh, getting a chick right on the horn here. So 
Again, guys, I'm doing this with one hand. All right, baby, okay. See this? I want her to see me because the problem is, girl, Lagatha, Lagatha, what do you smell? Do you smell? Do you smell the good stuff? Come here, girl. I don't want to get hit with that tail. Look at this. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, girl. Look, look what I got. Oh, that's a good baby. Yes, it is. So there you go. Um, she's eating, no worries. Look at this, look at this one. Look at this one. Laggy, laggy la. Up, up. And now let's try and get in there on her. Oh, I'm in a really weird position, guys. Hold on, let me get my rodent or my chick ready. And then let's see, how athletic is she? How athletic is she? Come on, come on. Can you make it up there? Oh my gosh, you want that, don't you? All right, there she is. She's such a good lizard. So that's it. Um, I just give her some food. I would have made her run around, but you know what? She's doing good right now. So really excited about her and glad that she's doing so well. And as you can see, if I bring food in, she's very tolerant. I'm sitting here right at the door. I'm not far away. I'm about two foot from her face. That's me. That's the lizard. So she's not trying to come after me. Uh, we're building up trust. I don't, we, again, we don't force ourselves on the lizards. We allow the lizards to learn us and trust us. Uh, very, very important when dealing with large, intelligent uh, monitors like this. And uh, just got off the phone with uh, friend Tom Crutchfield. And I'm going to go down there and see how, in fact, he has tamed his animals, his croc monitors, uh, because it's not that I need this animal to be like a puppy dog, but I think it's going to be better for both of us if there's um, no issues as far as getting in and out of the cage and just getting her to trust me a little bit more. So again, beautiful lizard. Uh, just love this thing and love to see her out in the enclosure. You can see it's a large enclosure. It's 16 feet long by eight foot tall and it is eight foot wide. So it's got a lot of room for her to move around in. It's a beautiful sunny day. We've got misters that come on here. Uh, they mist her down. Over there is her water source right back in there. Um, I'm just trying to be nice and slow. She knows that I have no more food. She's not rushing me trying to get food. She's not rushing me trying to get me out of the cage. So it's a really cool experience. So this is, you guys are watching a relationship kind of unfold. I actually moved my foot and she saw that. Okay, so she heard that and saw that. But what's cool about these videos, guys, is we do these with this animal, is you're gonna watch me go through the process of learning the animal, learning how to properly tame her. And so when you watch the earlier vids with her, hopefully in a year, two years, we're gonna see such a difference uh, between the interaction with her. Uh, that said, you know, guys, this is not an animal that you should be running out to buy. Even as babies, they can give you a really good bite. They need a lot of room. Like all monitors, they require space, they're big, uh, they love being outdoors, and uh, that's what we've got here. So um, there you go, that's a little disclaimer, okay? So say goodbye to Laggy, and then we're gonna go on and we're gonna get everyone else fed uh, because it's fun. We'll show you some of the other guys. I figured I'd start with this beauty right here first, okay? And then we go ahead and lock her all up. And we say goodbye. I'm really happy with her though. I'm really glad that she's behaving this way. There's been no whipping, just a little posturing. So she just had a nice meal. Let's go feed off the rest of this good stuff. To some of our other monitors, I think Slinky's going to wind up getting two squirrels today, which is going to be a big feed for, for, the, for the big man Slinks. Um, everything's good down here at the camp. Um, luckily for me, I've got plenty of rodents in the freezer. I've got uh, plenty of dry goods uh, with our friends at Fluker. Really, man, those guys have been great because uh, we've got tons of tortoise chows. They're crafted cuisine. They've sent over their aquatic turtle diet. So right now, I'm very fortunate to be stocked up on all the things I need for this self-imposed isolation we got, we're under. So we're now moving over to Marty, the Mertens monitor. He's somewhere. He's a character. Let's see if we can get him going. Uh, what are we going to give him? What shall we give him? Uh, what I do, guys, by the way, a headless chick, what I do is I thaw these guys out in warm water. It, it makes the thawing process go much faster. So in about an hour in hot water, and these, oh, these guys are all properly thawed out. Oh, he's up there. So here's Marty. Let's get in there. Marty, Marty. Look, he's such a spastic lizard. Watch, watch how spastic, he whips at it and then he comes after it. He's so spastic, I love him. Oh, you're so nuts. 
Oh my God, Marty. Take it easy, Marty. Look at him, just like a mono. Wow, wow, right down into the water. How much action was that? That was like a triple Lindy. We love it, and we're gonna give him an absolute 10. Look at him go. What a mental case. What an absolute mental case. Let's go underwater and see this mental patient as he does his thing. So, no sound. Now, aren't monitors incredible? <laughs> aren't they just... Let's shake out that water. They're crazy. Uh, just such a nut animal. I really enjoy him. He's never tried to bite me. He does a lot of this kind of fronting, as we call it in the streets, man. The hard streets of Long Island where I'm from. Marty be fronting. He's a, a Merton's water monitor, but he's, uh, he's pretty cool, man. Love that lizard. Uh, as you can see, I kind of love all my lizards, but hey, we'll let him swallow that up. No worries. And then uh, we'll come back and maybe I'll give him, oh, I almost fell. We'll give him a uh, rodent, huh? What do you think? And that'll be a pretty good feed and I probably won't feed again until next week, to be perfectly honest. Okay, so now our next creature, you guys know her, you love her. And uh, I love her too. She's already ready for us. Let's go ahead and get something on the uh, get something on the line here. We'll go with a mouse. Uh, there we go. All right, kid. Here we go. Oh, oh jeepers, jeepers, kid. I love this lizard too. Uh, I, I might love all my lizards. I don't know. Like, let let her move. Let her move. Come on, come on, get moving. Oh, I'm over here. I'm over here. All right, good girl. Good girl. Now I want to give her a chick if I have any left because it's always good to just get her uh, some poultry, spread it all out here, spread the wealth. Here you go, babe. And she gobbles it down, so that's a good feed for her as well. Uh, again, I'm feeding, you know, she could probably swallow something a little bit bigger, but with the rodents and the, the poultry, uh, they really get a good kind of cross-section of vitamins, you know, they're getting everything they need. And I, you guys have also seen me feed them fish, which for water monitors obviously is pretty good. So what's cool is this, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you, my hand's right here, and uh, she knows what's a hand and what is food. So again, very, very intelligent lizards, even though I got some scent on it. All right, I'm trusting her here. I would not do this if the animal was in a frenzied state, but since she's calmed down a little bit, there should be no issues. So she's a good lizard. I'm also gonna gently come over here with this hand, touch her, and this is how we build this trust. Oh, yeah, maybe the trust, maybe I'm full of crap. <laughs> Let's do it again. Let's do it again. I think she's just, she just sees out of periphery, look. So just to prove the point, guys. See her looking around. She's definitely in a heightened state, but if I go ahead and scratch her, we're okay. Those were not actual bite attempts. That was a little bit of confusion. See that? <laughs> Wait, that's my fingers, that's my fingers. It's my fingers, see? As soon as she realizes that it's my finger, she stops the attack. She stops the attack, see this? See that? Pretty cool. So I know I, once you react, and that was one of the things my buddy Tom was telling me, if you react by pulling your hand away too quick, they think it's prey, they go after it. Again, don't bite me on film. There you go, good girl. So it's a lot of trust. And you know what, since she's being so good, let's give her some real prey. Let's give her the prey. Come on, back in. All right, so that's pretty cool. So I love it. I love it. All right, so all we have left to feed are these two big juicy squirrels, but good girl. Thank you so much for playing along. Let me get you back in here. All right. Say goodbye to everybody, sweetie. Say, oh, there you go. Okay. Now let's go see the big man. The big man, Slinky. Um, here we go. Whew. But that was interesting stuff. I'm actually pretty glad I did that. That was a test to see just how smart they are. And yeah, I gotta be honest, it took everything for me not to pull my hand away. That is your 
initial response is, oh, I'm gonna pull my hand away. But when you pull it away, it looks like prey trying to escape. So if you just leave it there and trust, which is sometimes hard to do even with humans, uh, more so with humans actually, then, um, you know, you'll come away with all your digits and you'll allow the lizard the opportunity to know the difference. Okay, shut this. I hear Slinky moving about. There he is. All right, Slink, I got a pretty good meal for you here, buddy. These are large squirrels that my friend, Mr. Arrington brought over. Um, I guess they were digging or chewing onto his, they were chewing on his home and he went, whoa, look at his speed. Look at that speed. What an animal. You really, a large monitor, there really is no comparison to a beautiful large monitor like that. Good boy, Slinky. Oh, oh, that was gross. Slinky, why must you shake it? Get the head in, kid. You can actually see his teeth right there. Good sized teeth on this guy. Now, if that head was already in, he would be able to swallow this, no issue. But since he wasn't able to get the head down, oh my gosh, I spoke too soon. Incredible reptile. Really love these guys. So very cool stuff. Again, I wanna to prove to you guys something. I'm gonna put my hand out. Um, I can move my hand with Slinky. He's not really doing anything. Now watch when we get the food on the tongs. And uh, you hear, see this? He smells it first. Now we got that head. This is gonna be a much easier meal. Oh God, it's so wet and nasty. Very cool, look at that, no problem. Two adult squirrels right down the hatch. And the cool thing about this is these animals were, I guess, pests in Mr. Arrington's yard. He uh, disposed of them and now he brings all the uh, biomass to me so it doesn't go to waste, which is really good. So I appreciate that help. And uh, there you go. I actually had a pet squirrel named Olivia once and I really liked her. <laughs> uh, you gonna finish that? You looks like you got a goatee, kid. Get it down. Come on. That's a pretty big meal, so he's gonna be good for about a week. I don't like to overfeed Slinky. Um, he just pushes it right down there, no worries. Oh, gosh. And how about it? Very cool, huh? So, uh, while I was in Australia, I got to see my friend Joe Ball uh, do a good feeding on their largest monitor species, the Parente. Uh, and that was pretty interesting to watch. He had a male, not quite full grown, uh, but that was it. So let's show you. There's Slinky. I trust this lizard, man. This is a good relationship we've built over the last five years since I've had him. I can move my hand. There's no issue. He knows what my hand is and he knows what the food is. So that's a really big deal to me. Uh, and it's just testament uh, being involved with the animal, taking your time with him. I never tried to force myself on Slinky. And even to this day, I really don't force myself on him. Uh, I pick him up when needed, but you see the other lizards running around, they act like prey. So I got to get these guys moved and that's why we're doing that iguana cage. So guys, bear with me as we uh, deal with this pandemic and uh, we stretch it out because that will be an amazing iguana cage where I can get these guys moved. And the plan is uh, once I move these guys, I'm going to perhaps, hey, see that? I'm gonna perhaps open this entire thing up for Slinky. So I'm really excited about that because Slinky deserves as much room as I can give him. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna go wash this because I'm um, pretty sure I got squirrel juice on my beard. And uh, before I kiss Kate, I wanna make sure I don't have anything on my face. All right, everyone, thanks so much for joining us. I leave you with one more shot of that handsome dude, Slinky. Like and subscribe and to follow along on all the adventures we have here at the camp. Thanks so much, guys, and stay safe wherever you may be.